So in this video, I want to show you how to apply for NATA 2025. Go to NATA.IM website and then click on this registration link. So once you click on this, you will have a basic information page. Fill in your name, your nationality, email address and click on verify to make sure this email ID exists. Enter the email OTP. Check for the mail. So you must have received a mail from NATA s 2 support here. In case if it's not received in your inbox, it will be visible there in the spam folder. So it will definitely be existing if either in the spam folder or in the inbox click on it and open so there will be a one time password 27, 27 so after you enter it automatically gets verified you don't have to click verify it will automatically get verified and you will get this message so they will ask you for a whatsapp number type in your whatsapp number and click here to verify this number says it's already exists so we will try another number so click verify an OTP has been sent to the mobile phone in the form of message the OTP has to be entered in certain time frame otherwise it become invalid so in case if it happens you have to click on the recent OTP button so again the OTP will be sent to the number and do it quicker so when you enter the OTP it will automatically get verified and they will ask you whether it's your whatsapp number or not to so click here if you really want to otherwise you can just leave it and then next comes the password you have to type in a password that consists of certain uh, characters like capital letters small letter and then a symbol with the number so I'll give you an example I'm going to type I'm not going to tell you I'm not going to tell you my password. I'll give you a sample password on screen. You have to confirm the password again. And then you should enter your Aadhaar number. Next, select a security question. In case if you forget your password, you can recover the password using this uh, security question. And next, you need to enter this CAPTCHA for human verification. It's case sensitive. Before typing, make sure it's capital or small letter. The first one is actually zero, not O, and V is actually small letter. So it's a case sensitive. If you type, either if it's in small letter, it should be small letter. If not, it should be in the capital letter. Now click on register. So your data has been submitted. Now you can log in into your account using the details that are given in the previous step. I hope you have noted down your password while you are creating. So it's better to note it down in any WhatsApp chat or somewhere. Next. Type this capture for human verification. This time this is actually O not 0. 7 T F 4. Just click on login. So the login is successful. So here you see I have a basic form with some details that are already given and the first step has been taken directly. Now I need to enter the remaining uh, details. Father name, mother name, gender, date of birth, select your cast category. So if you come under MBC or any other different category that belongs to backward class, you can go for OBC, NCL. If you belong to OC category, make sure you are eligible for EWS or not. Because even OC candidate, general candidates has a reservation. When your parents income or a, uh, less than certain limit, you will be able to get this certificate from uh, Taluka office. So inquire about that before you apply for this. So click on obc or ews and in case if you give this wrong not at all a problem because there is no reservation in the nata exam in the examination but when you apply for the counseling you will have certain reservation so next you need to upload your category certificate that is your cost certificate next is the identification type document you can select any one of the following id document and then you should also type the id number since i gave the other number previously i'm going to use that again and give the same if you want to use any other id proof uh, you can do that and then update this uh, number based on that and then you need to also upload your id card as well as place of residence if you are from village or urban no, you can uh, update that based on it but it's not going to impact anything so you can select any one of the options even if it's wrong not at all a problem so next i'll upload this id card and then upload the other card id card in the sense this id document are there so you can upload the other two times if you want while you are uploading the document make sure it doesn't have any symbols just type a simple name and then select them so invalid type that means the pdf files are not uploadable only image files are uploadable in this uh, form if you have anything in your pdf and you want to uh, change that to image file can do that online or you can use snipper tool to do that so go to this link 
and select this pdf and then convert it to jpeg and then download the jpeg now select the id documents file exceeds 500 kb that means all files has to be less than 500 kb let's also reduce the size of the photo online go to this link select the image and then open and then here you can select the preference of the dpa and this is also not enough we should have it uh, less than 300 it's better so let's make it 60 percent and then resize the image so this is fine let's download this image let's go here rename this and then now go to the nata website and then choose the file and then select these images so now it's getting uploaded if you have any disabilities click yes otherwise no now you also should give a password size photo make sure you have all these things ready beforehand when you are uh, before starting before filling up the application form once you are ready with your photo and signature click on the choose file and select the photo and then click on choose file and select the signature make sure all the images are less than 300 kb after which you have to capture this uh, live photo while you're applying. Uh, here I am since I'm recording, I cannot use this camera on the same time, so I'll disconnect the cam for now. Clicking on the capture live photo, so it will ask for the permission. So allow while visiting this site. So you need to take a photograph while applying for this exam. So click on capture. Once the photo has been captured, so it uh, says that photo captured successfully. Click on OK. And now you need to uh, enter your communication address. Leave the address where you receive because in case if you re receive any post, it will be sent to this address. No need landline number. All the asterisks has to be filled. They are important. Next, select the country. Type India. And select the state by typing the state name. And select the city. And then enter your PIN code. Now click on next. So details has been successfully added. You will receive this message. So after which you need to enter your uh, school academic details, 10 standard details and uh, educational details. Let me fill all these details. So this 10 standard seat number that is where you are actually sitting. I don't remember where I sat in the 10 standard. You can enter. Uh, I don't know what is the um, Actually, you can enter your certificate number instead of the seat number. Maybe it is mis misspelled uh, there. So I'll take this 50, 56, 54, 7. Next, the total mark and the obtain mark. The percentage will be calculated automatically. And the year is 2010. For NATA, there is no age bar, so you can apply whatever the age, even in 60 years, you can write this exam. And the board, since I am from Tamil Nadu, I'll type Tamil Nadu, or else I'll look for Tamil Nadu Board of Science Reaching. See, in case if you are a CBSC student, type the board name and you can find it in the drop down. And you need to upload your mark sheet. Make sure it's also ready when you be apply. So open it. So in case if it's more than 500 KB, go to this site, reduce image site, and then select the image and then reduce that size to let's resize this and see it's actually more 1.69 MB. You should have it less than uh, 300 KB. So let's make it like 30% size and the quality we can reduce to 60%. And this 30% is actually too low. Let's go for and then resize the image so this is more than 300 we must reduce it some more so let's go for 50 percentage in the quality resize it so this is also not enough so let's go for 45 here and resize the image so this is fine let's download this image now click on choose file and select the photo so it's successfully uploaded and enter the pin code and the education detail class 12 i have completed post 10 standard so in case if you are a diploma student you should select this so i'm going to select class 12 and the status appearing past if you are going to appear this year please select this if you have already done it uh, click on past so i'm going to click on past so in case if you are passed it will ask for rule number percentage and things if not if you are uh, selecting appearing it will not ask all these things so stream you can select class 12 and then board same as like 10 standard tamil nadu board of science education select and then the institute name school name no need you can google and say, copy the school name but not really type in institute print code and then your 12 standard roll number roll number is nothing but this register number 44 52 97 is mine roll number is nothing but this register number so the roll number is nothing but the register number that is there in your 12 standard mark sheet mine is 44 52 97 
and type the total mark in for which the exam was conducted and then type the obtained mark it will automatically calculate the percentage and uh, year of passing you can select as per your mark sheet and i made a mistake this is actually not 10 standard mark sheet but it's okay 500 these are all correct and year of passing has to be 2008 and now i need to upload the mark sheet i'll do the same again and then click on next so we need to type the address of the uh, school in case if you miss any field it will take you there where you have actually missed so this is my institute name so click on next now so details has been successfully saved so i have successfully completed most of the details for the exam next uh, click on next declaration i hereby declare that the information given is in include true to best my knowledge so you need to take an oath that you are providing an um, uh, correct information for giving this exam so in case if there is any false there will be a punishment from the law it's a warning note so no problem we have given a correct information so click on s and save it so the application form has been successfully uh, registered now the next step is to we need to select an appointment booking date so here you can see appointment booking for nata examination payment fee starts from 10th of february so by the time i'm doing this video it's actually 7th of february so wait for the appointment to open in case if you want to edit your uh, profile something uh, some information if you want to change you can definitely do that by going over here and then ch changing these details so this is a dashboard so the design looks good so this is how you apply for the nata exam and after the february 10th i'll i'll show you how to apply how to do the date registration and fee payment so when you're done click on log out and it will ask you uh, the warning click on yes and you'll be successfully logged out of the registration process in case if you want to log in back you can do that by entering the email and password so i hope this video uh, would be useful for you in case if you have any doubts for reference i hope this video finds useful for you in case if you are going to apply for nata exam and if you are struggling with any one of the part so even after this if you have any doubts you can definitely reach out to nairamclasses.com either through their whatsapp or through the 24 bar 7 chat support available in nairamclasses.com so thanks for watching do subscribe and support nairamclasses.com